Hello again and welcome to part 9 of our look at British trees in the summertime. This time once again looking at ash, sycamore, spruce, norway maple, hawthorn and cherry. So we left ash in the spring with those funny looking flowers um, and then these soft pinnate leaves sort of 10, 12, 13 leaflets on a single stem uh, constituting one leaf uh, and then the flowers then turn into these seeds and as the summer wears on the foliage starts to look a little bit less soft and those seeds start to ripen and turn from a pale green to a brown ready to ripening ready to fall in the autumn Again, with the sycamore, we left it in the spring, uh, having come into leaf first, and then the flowers came. Fair bit of seed produced. Um, bought a lot of it. Um, but these ripen through the summer to form brown seeds, which it'll release in the autumn. But at the point of identification, the leaf stem on a sycamore is red. Uh, look at it on a Norway maple, you'll find it's grey. Now the Norway spruce, when we looked at this in the spring there wasn't an awful lot going on was there? These little green shoots were just starting to throw off the golden cap of the bud and just start to grow a little bit. But as it warms up, the season warms up, there's quite a noticeable increase in the rate of growth. And you'll get these lovely soft growths, very reminiscent of the larch isn't it? Soft green growths. Um, forming this season's twigs. Here are the new leaves breaking in the flowers on the Norway maple that we looked at in the spring but I just want to point out the colossal amount of aborted seed. I mentioned it in the sycamore but look at this. <sighs> Unbelievable. You wonder why it bothers at all. It seems to shed, I don't know, 80% of its seed. Only able to support a certain amount so it goes mad and produces all that lot. And here in the crown of the tree is where those which remain ripen away until the autumn when they will be released to the wind. Once again we rejoin the thorn uh, having looked at it like this in the springtime but look how quickly these little flowers turn into berries that little ovary swelling and swelling and swelling uh, through the early part of the summer um, so that by the time you get into July you're already starting to see red ripening berries. And lastly in this section the cherry, here it is uh, as we left it in the spring in flower but then once the flowering is over and the petals have blown away, uh, you've just got a fairly ordinary, from a common perspective, a fairly ordinary looking tree. But can you see those cherries forming? Little green berries ripening away. Uh, once they're ripened, um, they're gone. The birds eat a lot. So probably before you get to the middle of July, the tree has flowered, fruited, and lost its seed. If you require any information about the work that we do at Priestgate Garden Specialists in Lawn Care, 
please go to www.priestgate.co.uk.